Hey, hey everyone, Krellopix here. And today I thought I would give you a bit of a review and sneak peek into the beaded cross stitch that I'm doing. So in my uh, last haul video, I showed that I purchased this peacock beaded cross stitch. Um, it's the peacocks that I did the diamond painting of, the really big one. I don't know why I bought it, but it seemed really cool, so why not, right? So here's just a little bit of what I've done. I've only done about two and a half rows, which isn't much, but I haven't worked on it for very long. I would have to say this probably took me about two hours. Let me see if I can show you all the way. Um, it took me about two hours or so. And I think a lot of that time was wasted um, trying to get my beads out of single containers. So opening one container, closing it, opening one container, closing it, which was very time consuming, I think. So that being said, let me show you the containers that I ended up going with, which has actually made it go a lot faster. So I got these containers. I had thought that um, getting the embroidery boxes, you know, the ones that you keep floss in. I thought about getting those and I had one to spare, but I, of course it wouldn't have been enough to hold all 64 different colors that came with this set. So I went to D Daiso and they had these and they're actually pill boxes. So they have the seven days of the week and then they have morning, noon, evening, and night. Uh, but it was the perfect container for these beads. So I'll just open this one to show you. Um, it's really cool. Um, it does fit all of my beads really well, all of the different colors, but it also gives me access to multiple colors in one go. And then if I really want to, and I've got three here, I can open all three of them, you know, at the same time if I have room, <laughs> depending on where I'm working on this thing. But uh, all I did was I took some masking tape. You can barely see it here, but I took some masking tape and I wrote down um, the number and the symbol it correlates with um, on each section. And then I poured my beads in. And that this actually has helped. So that second half, that half row that I did at the end there has actually sped up quite a bit because I have more um, access to different colors at my fingertips. So I have sectioned them off by color instead of by number, like that kind of order I've done it by color scheme uh, because I find that you know when you're working on like a pink flower you're gonna use different shades of pink so I'd rather have them all together instead of in numerical order which they didn't really make sense color wise so I've done that you can see here are the blues some grays and some yellows and greens going into the blues and then finally my reds pinks and purples and some browns so keeping them all together like this has um, sped up the process quite a bit, which is good. <laughs> Especially when you're stringing beads on one at a time. So I'm loving these little kits. They were only $2.80 each. So it was under 10 bucks for this whole set I've got going here. So that was really good. Cheaper than those embroidery boxes, believe it or not. Those can be notoriously expensive. So that's how I got my beads going. But also, um, I've got it labeled according to the pattern that came with this instead of the symbols that are on the canvas. Because these are, they're actually very different. What you see on the canvas is not what's in the pattern. So let me show you the pattern. And also I'll show you my um, other little trick that I've been using. So here's the pattern. This is the page that I'm currently working on. But it's got, you know, the pattern for depending on what section of um, the painting you're working on. And then there's a chart in the back to tell you, oh, you're working on this section, you need to look at number one, page one. So that's really helpful. I think I was on this page, yes. <laughs> um, and then I got this magnetic board. I've had it for other cross stitches and um, some tapestry work that I had been working on. It's basically just a metal board um, and it came with a bunch of straight edged magnets so you just use that to hold everything down and I also use the magnets to help me keep track of where I am I do however want to make a copy of this so that I can actually write on it and cross off stuff so just in case the magnet moves while I've got it stored I'll still know where I am in the pattern so this has been very handy 
Now let's talk a little bit about the quality of this bad boy. Um, it's not that great. <laughs> The beads themselves, like the 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 Ada cloth, is actually really well um, done. I like how they've you know made sure that the ends don't unravel. I don't know if you can see this top edge here, but they've um, done some overlocking to make sure it doesn't unravel, which is really good. And the symbols on here are printed pretty clearly. But because they don't match what's in the pattern, I have no idea what colors these symbols represent unless it's a big area. So like here you'll see like 16 or 33 here, but I can't really tell you what color that's associated with because there's others in there as well. So it's I, I ignore this completely. It really makes no sense to have this on here at that point. Um, and I'm wondering, some of the ones that have these printed um, patterns, they wash off. You need to rinse them in cold water and so they wash off. So I'm guessing this might be the same to get rid of these guidelines. So we'll see in the end, but I'm a little wary about washing the beads. So um, The beads themselves are really cheap. Really cheap and kind of crappy. Um, they're just normal seed beads in a very amount of colors. Um, and within one particular color, one number of color, you can have different shades. So that's how cheap they are. The sizes also vary. <clears throat> the uh, inner diameter also varies. So I had started to use um, four other needles at first because I thought they would be very good. Um, they had a big eye, so they were easy to thread. Started using those and then I had to ditch a couple of beads because they wouldn't go past the eye of the needle and onto the thread. So that took up a lot of time as well. So I switched to this one smaller needle that I had. I'll probably have to go and get some more just to be safe. But um, why am I not using the needles that came with it, you ask? Well, those needles, all like 50 bajillion of them, they're too small. The eye is way too small to fit the required amount of embroidery floss through them. So they're pointless. They have been packed away for maybe a, some future project or whatever use they might have in the future. Um, so <laughs> those needles were pointless. Um, yeah, they just don't fit. I could not thread them at all and almost broke my threader. So. Using this needle has worked out quite well, so even the ones that have very, very small holes, can I can still get them past the eye and onto the thread and then continue to um, cross-stitch. Um, yeah, that I, I think that's all that I can really say about the quality. So the worst part about it is the beads. Um, I think it's a little too early to say how this is going to look in the end, especially since I just had this little line here. Uh, but it's fun. Don't get me wrong. It is fun. And I'm looking forward to see it to seeing it finished. But um, given the quality of these beads, I'm really unsure of what it's going to look like. But I'm sure it'll be surprising nonetheless. None, nonetheless. So um, this project, I forgot to mention, it's only half stitch. So it's not a full cross stitch. So basically, you go up through one hole, you put your bead on. And then you go down the diagonal hole and that's it. That's your stitch complete. And you just keep moving on that way. So like I said, once you've got your beads prepared in a good way, so you have access to mini, it'll go a lot quicker. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say about the quality. It's really good if you just want to try this craft and you get a smaller one, not a massive one like I did stupidly. Um, but if you get a smaller one and you want to try it, I highly recommend it. If you've tried it and you really enjoy it, I would suggest creating your own pattern. So get your own Ada cloth or, I mean, you can get a pre-printed one and, you know, like a cross stitch kit, a normal cross stitch kit and, you know, save the floss for something else. But I would then suggest getting Delica seed beads because one, they're a lot higher quality. They're a lot more uniform in size, which I think will have a better effect. And then they also come in DMC colors. So there you go. I think that would look a lot better. So 
I hope this video was helpful for those who are very interested in this craft, wanted to see what I had done so far. I will have some pictures up soon of what I've got. And of course, we'll continue to have pictures up of my progress. Um, but yeah, let me know if you have any questions. I really do hope that you enjoyed it and that this was helpful for you. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.